Hey everybody, so it's through Dexter Hauler again. I'm back on my back porch greenhouse. And uh, I've done a few updates back here in addition to what I've done out in my spring garden. Uh, the greenhouse basically worked great over the winter. I had tomatoes all the way through January. Basically ran into a white fly problem that uh, I, it was too much trouble for me. So uh, they pretty much produced to their full extent and I got rid of them. And what I've incorporated now is a Larry Hull system out of Brandon, Minnesota. And uh, I spent four years in the Dakotas and people out uh, in the Midwest are really great people and Larry's no different. And the system he's designed is working really great for me. And what it is, you have a, uh, it's a rain gutter grow system. You take a rain gutter and put two two by fours on the side and you put a float with a water source coming in. And basically it's a hydroponic system. And underneath the buckets that this system sits in, there's a cup that sucks the water up out of the trough into the five gallon buckets. <clears throat> I'll let, I won't go into too much detail about it. I'll let you go to his channel and, and show you how he builds them. But what I've done is ran the uh, gutter all the way down the length of my um, porch. And back here now I got peppers and uh, tomatoes growing. And they're doing really well so far. I was a little skeptical at first. I was like, well, is it possible to be able to draw water up that far up that bucket? And also, would they be getting too much water? But as you can see, they look very healthy. Uh, all these are transplants now, they, but they're much bigger than when I first put them in. And I'm uh, raining all the way down. And uh, when I come down here, I'm going to go around the corner. And as you can see, I've uh, made it a little mini section of it here so that I could work my way around this corner. This section right here that's right by the door, it won't have any plants in it, so what I'm going to do is cover it with a piece of 1x6 or 1x8 <clears throat> to keep it, you know, since there's nothing growing there and keep the water covered up. But I'm going to take it all around the uh, corner here. Now what I did here was just take a T, or a Y in this case, and branch off and run a pipe through the wall where my wood stove is. And that's how I'm bringing water into the house. So I bring it in from the wall. I go around the base. And then once I got to my door frame, I just went up and over my frame. But it's a really neat system. And I can grow a lot of plants. I got uh, 20 plants here so far. And I think just around the base of the back porch, um, I'll probably be able to fit 50 plants back here. And uh, another idea I thought of if uh, I want to incorporate more plants is to put a 4x4 four four post here and put another level up here all the way around. So just a neat idea. <clears throat> Even if you don't run water through this system, just the fact of being able to come out here and pour into the rain gutter to me is a benefit. You don't have to go through and water each individual plant. I could just build this rain gutter up, let the plants use what it needs, come back the next day and fill it up again. But if you have the luxury of being able to run a water, uh, water system to it, you never have to worry about even watering it. Okay, this is O3 Dexter Hauler. If you have any questions, uh, just IM me and uh, make sure you go check out Larry Hall's channel. I'll post a link in the bottom of this video. Everybody take care. And just a reminder, if y'all haven't seen my other greenhouse videos, what I did was take a uh, PVC clear paneling and wall in the uh, back porch of my screen porch to make a greenhouse. It gets about 20 degrees warmer back here. So. system fills up. There's a little air in the line now. That's the bubbling you hear. So it comes in here off of my PVC pipe that I showed coming in. And this float is going to allow uh, water to fill up this entire gutter system until it fills up completely and pushes back up on this float. That's just air coming down the line. Well, let's come down here to the end. 
because if all these troughs, all these troughs will have uh, water in them eventually. And if we watch right here, if the camera will pick it up, it'll show how it overflows in a second. As you can see, it's starting to drain in this final trough. And once this trough fills up all the way down to the length of the trough, it'll stop down there where I have it ended for now and start backing up toward that float down there and the float will cut it off. And as the plants need the water, the float allows more water to come in. So this is the uh, rain gutter brew system that uh, Larry Hall designed. Uh, I highly recommend it and uh, update y'all with the progress.